power brokers are tuning in. All the power brokers are tuning in from wherever they are in the world, even though uh, many people are out with their kids for a summer vacation or just traveling right now. We're here on a Tuesday morning making sure we get the deals talked about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out of pocket for 4th of July. Anybody doing anything crazy for 4th of July? No? I'm going to Texas. I'm going to go to Dallas. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go. Four? Uh, one of my, uh, one of my colleagues, her son is actually going for a Taekwondo nationals competition. So wow. I figured I, uh, it was like, I wanted to go do something right with the family. So we were like, let's go out there go check out Dallas. Obviously in the summer, for those of you who have gone, please educate me. Um, it's I hot. hear it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot and humid. Hot and humid. But at the same time, I get to go take a look at some deals out there and, uh, see if I can, uh, you know, convince the family to to, to come out with me so but anyways There's everybody oh yeah so it's 902 ladies and gentlemen i think we're gonna get started here because we have we have everybody on the line right now i think we have over a, a, a hundred and fifty people on the line uh wait a second i think i have a glitch i think ryan what are you doing hacking on my 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 system but anyways we have a we have our distinguished folks on the line and first and foremost we want to introduce our our moderator Ryan McKenzie, you know, for those of you who have seen me, uh, uh, I think I can't believe it, Ryan, but I've been doing this since 2020. This has been crazy. Wow. So we have, okay. we've been, uh, we've been, we want to get Ryan in the mix here. So Ryan can, uh, can get a, can get, uh, I would say accustomed to talking about cattle with all of you guys. So <laughs> we want to we keep, we want to keep, keep the spirits up, but thank you again for, for joining us, but also let's, let's continue on and, uh, for those of you who are first on our broker forum, uh, you know, what we do here is we we obviously ha have a whole, okay, I didn't do the intro, excuse me. Uh, for those of you who are first joining us for the first time, we are actually, this is the CCIM Greater Los Angeles Broker Forum. So what we do here for our, our, our meetings is not typically on a Tuesday. Today was a little bit of an audible. We actually had it scheduled to be out in Valencia in person. But we had a lot of people who had registered and then had shared that they were traveling and could not make it. They had some scheduling conflicts. So we will uh, put put ourselves back on the uh, on the map here next month and you know roll with the punches over the summer. And uh, but today, we, what we like to do here is talk about all of your listings. This is the goal here. We want to be able to talk about your listings, share the stories, give us the intimate knowledge that's going to allow us to be able to go back to our clients or like we had last uh, last meeting, put a syndication together. <clears throat> we had Gene Trowbridge come online who was able to educate us a little bit about syndications and how his firm has you know, put together thousands of syndications and how, has helped brokers put de deals together um, and also can give us, you know, basically keep us out of jail when it comes to the SEC. Let's put it that way. So um, <laughs> for those of you, again, uh, would love to learn more about that. Let me know. Uh, but again, let's continue on. We're going to get started. We're going to want to thank our sponsors. So for those of you who don't know our sponsors, <clears throat> we have various different levels. And for without our sponsors, we would not be able to host our, our events and to be able to put this broker forum together. So we want to thank our platinum sponsor. We have CoStar Group on the line. And then we'll go to our to our platinum and gold sponsors because without we have several we have several levels platinum gold if we can continue on um is, there we go we have rpm commercial restores emergency services and we have bank of america so uh these groups have definitely helped and supported our chapter and obviously have their own businesses that we would always encourage you to learn more about Restores is definitely a great resource. Bank of America has hosted our broker form in person in Pasadena, and we will. An RPM commercial is actually on our board, so we appreciate them for for contributing and supporting our chapter. And we'll continue on to our silver sponsors. I'm not going to label everyone, but there's a plethora of, of silver sponsors from uh, different real estate agencies to tax groups to uh, inspections, environmentals. Um, lenders. I mean, we go, we go, it goes, it goes all across the spectrum. So we thank our silver sponsors for <clears throat> being able to support us. And uh, again, be another resource for our, our chapter. For those of you who have any questions about the commercial real estate industry or any of their types of services, I highly encourage you just pick up the phone. We can send you their contact information. They're happy to help you. So we'll continue on. 
And for our bronze and copper sponsors, we have a sponsorship level for everyone. So we have different groups that support us in various different levels. And we always accept all the support we can get here uh, with our nonprofit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a nonprofit trade organization. So again, we appreciate our sponsors and without them, we would not be able to do these fun activities. So <clears throat> we have a, a third annual golf tournament. We have also had a series of sponsors that ju it just this just passed. For those of you, again, we like to uh, give a shout out to our sponsors who helped us with our most recent golf tournament. So for those, uh, do we have golfers on the line? Anyone? All right, I, I see some hands there. I made I it out to the tournament. We had a really good yeah. turnout for the uh, tournament here. Yeah. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to, but I think, tell us real quick, Ryan, tell us, what, what, how, uh, did you do the 300, 350 drive like you told me or? Well, I, I, I did not, I did not win the longest drive. And unfortunately, oh. I also did not make it closest to the hole. Someone out there Ooh. had a real massive drive and it was, it was actually really, <laughs> really impressive. And makes me think I need to revisit my my driver because it's clearly the, the equipment <laughs> and not the uh, the golfer. Oh, but uh, it was a beautiful day out there. I was in a cart with a, a, a developer. We had a great time networking and talking shop. And I actually really look forward to the next one that we do because it's a, it's a great opportunity to talk business and hang out and have some fun instead of just being in the office. Awesome, awesome. And and we also too for those of you who don't know, we actually. Uh, support make a wish with this uh with uh our, our golf tournament so that's our uh charity that we we sponsor we sponsor a couple other groups but but yes uh we'll continue on and uh we'll get started with our sponsor highlight thank you again ryan for sharing more about that uh we encourage everybody to uh sign up for our next tournament we'll keep you guys posted once we get the dates lined up but mr nick wood we welcome you sir. On, let's go hey welcome welcome Crexy, we love you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Great to be here. Um, so, all right. Am I uh do I have the floor? What are we doing? You you've yeah, got the floor, Nick. Take it, take okay. it away, bud. What we think away, if you want to share here. your screen or if you want to share your yeah, screen or anything. Screen. Yep. Okay. Um DJ, what do we think of the time like here? You got about a good five to seven minutes. I mean, obviously you you're you're free to 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 yeah. give us give us a spiel. Go for it. Cool. Yeah, well, I'll share my screen in a second here, but I, I guess just wrap the bat, I think there's a bunch of people here who are already using our our plat our pro um our pro platform, and I want to show some of the newest features. Uh, so with the five minutes, I'll just kind of show like what what the latest and greatest things that we're working on are, and make sure everyone's mm -hmm. aware of that. And then for the new people, um, you know, they can reach out to me after, and we can discuss, you know, what else we can offer too. Excellent. So share my screen here. See. everyone go ahead and see this yes we can yes, so obviously can. i mean everyone knows about the open marketplace right anyone can post all their listings on craxy for free anyone in the world can go on and find those listings for free uh but then on our upgrade platform we do offer some marketing but we also have an incredible data piece where we actually have every property in the country so if you go over to property data you go into comps and records section you'll be able to see actually every single property in the country. It doesn't matter if it is uh, commercial, uh, residential, retail, multifamily, every single property in the entire country is on here. So if I'm looking at LA, I can zoom in anywhere on the map. If I want to look in like Van Nuys, I can scroll in and every single property will show up uh, in, in these different parcels here, right? You can do this from iPhone as well. So not only online, but iPhone anywhere. And you can scroll in and click into any listing, any address in the country. You can search any address, land, retail, multifamily, and pull all the information on that deal. So if I want to know what's going on here, looks like it might have a multifamily here. Oh, just a residential address. Big house here. So if you click into any address, it's going to give you a full breakdown of that property. I've got... The property details, the financial, the building, the zoning. I have the ownership information. I've got the contact information for the owner. So I can go ahead and see Stephen Browning's the owner of this. If I hit view contact info, that will give me his cell phone and his email address. I can see the demographics of the area, and I can also hit view portfolio to see anything else that that person might own. Now, with this data, uh, having everything at your fingertips here is nice, but the way we're going to allow you to manipulate it is really what's going to be a game changer. 
So we have not only CMBS data, but we also have private loan data. So we're going to have, we're going to pull from every different title company in the country. We're going to have more accurate information on loans, maturity dates, interest rates and loans, where it's coming from. All that info is going to be at your fingertips and you can kind of manipulate this however you want. So if I wanted to look in like North LA area for retail, I can see, okay, in, in this area, we have 21,000 properties that are retail. Uh, then I can filter by date sold or sold price, or I can manip manipulate this how I want into like the actual size and what I'm specifically looking for. So building size, uh, lot size, we even have USPS deliverability now. So we are tied into USPS and we're tracking whether they're vacant or not. So if the USPS goes to deliver mail three times in a row and it's returned to sender, now that property is marked as vacant. So I can go ahead and click this on and see, okay, here's every retail property that is considered vacant right now in this area. 671 here. I can filter by a size that I'm looking for too. Then I can move into advanced attributes like functions or zoning codes. Um, I can even move into financing and sale information, see like maturity dates on loans, interest rates on loans. So I can come in here and see like, okay, here's every property that has a maturity date on a loan expiring in the next couple of years and is currently vacant. Um, and I can have them all right here in my, in my, at my fingertips. And you can go ahead and hit select all and then export those into an Excel sheet with the names, the numbers, the email addresses, and all that information, including the vacancy dates. And this will work for whatever whatever you're looking for. If you want to filter to multifamily, if you want to see a certain size multifamily, okay, I can go ahead and move to multifamily. I can click by date sold and see something that hasn't transacted in maybe the last 25 years. So see something that's been like passed down or maybe it's an older person, they might need to get rid of it. And then go into all filters. And if I want to go by a certain size, I can filter by you know how many units. If I want to just look for five to 10 units in this area, I can filter by that and see like, okay, here's every older multifamily that hasn't transacted since 1990 in North Hollywood and go ahead and hit select all and export that with the names and numbers, email addresses of all those people. Nice. Amazing. Can you, can you uh, do, I think we have some industrial folks on the line and, and, and other, other folks. I don't know if you guys have. Yep. Yeah, same deal. Any property, office, industrial, whatever it is, industrial works great for this. Obviously, with you know, you can see vacancies on that too. You can filter by date sold. You can filter by the size if you're looking for a certain building size as well. That will be uh, key here. And then go ahead and see that. Wow. Uh, another thing that is nice is we are actually so so. Crexy has more listings than any other site currently. Um, any, any other commercial site. And what's nice about that is when that property actually does sell, if it was ever on Crexy, our sales comps are going to be a lot more dialed in than you'll see anywhere else because we have that original marketing package from when it was being offered. So if I click into any of these listings, like this one might must have just sold right here. This looks like an apartment building. Um, let me pull it up. <clears throat> okay, so this was, this just sold uh, June 14th for 15.6 million. And we can see this is pulled from public records, but it's also reported by this broker, Josh Kaplan. And we're gonna be able to see all the information from when he was actually selling it. So like his marketing information, uh, the marketing package from when that was being sold is all gonna be there uh, because you know, that broker had it on Crexy when it was uh, being offered. Amazing. Um, and, and that's about all I got to show you, I guess. And if, if it does have it, if it has like an offering memorandum or whatnot, you might be able to pull the, the rent rolls and the, the pat. Okay. So something like this, this is a multifamily here. You'll have that sales comp. You'll have, okay. Reported by Matthew Canner. I've got all the, the property history, the financials, the mortgage, all that's going to be there, the marketing description. Uh, but we're also going to be able to give you the photos from when it was being marketed, uh, historical OMs. So if this was sold multiple times, you'd see every OM or every flyer. And then go ahead and view that OM and find out all the information on that property from when it was being marketed. So we might even have like rent rolls or 10 information or whatnot uh, in here. Mm -hmm. And you can see all that right here. So this will give you uh, better sales comps than really you're going to find anywhere else. Amazing. Nick, I, we have a question in the chat right now. Yep. Uh, we have somebody asking, can you post your listings that are on Crexy on their personal website? 
Um, you could put a link to Craxy on there. You can have your own active listings on your own website. So we do that, but not just like Craxy's website. No, no, no. We're, we're, I guess I think like, what, like I think what she's I think she, something like that. I think it's like yeah. I, I being able to have their list or whatever have you. Is that possible? Yeah. So no, we don't have that. Um, it would just have to be like a link to Craxy's site. Um, here's what Got I was it. talking about with roll, by the way, this is showing up here. I'll show you what a, a website would look like. If you have your own, you can put your own li listings on your own website with Craxy. Um, it'll look like this. So if you were to, we call this Craxy Fuse, and we can have a built pl a plug in right into your website, which will show like all your listings for sale. So if it was like CCIM website or a realtor board website, we could integrate to that and show everyone's everyone's listing um but this no, is just this company's listings and it'll look like this um and what's cool about this is it tracks everyone so like anyone that comes to your website if they click on that listing it's going to show you tell you their name their number their email address anyone who looked at your site crazy and then if they click on it it'll bring you to that that page on crexy and all the information about that property how they can contact you via the om or anything like that is that extra um that's addition. included if you are a pro user. Yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. If Excellent. Anything else. Um, yeah. So that's, that's all, uh, that's all I got guys. I, we do have the whole uh, listing side of thing and the marketing side, but for now I figured I'd just, if, if it's quick, I'll just show you that part. Hey Nick, gotcha. if people have additional questions, can they reach out to you directly or is that, is there a support feature online that they can reach out to? Um, if they're a pro user, they'll have, they have their own rep. I mean, I will put okay. my, if they're interested in signing up for Craigslist, obviously they can reach out to me or any questions. I, I'll, I'll put my info in the chat right now too. Fantastic. Thank you. Excellent, Nick. Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming online and walking us through the new bells and whistles. For those of you who are not aware about Crexy, uh, their platform is ever evolving and has had significant investment. Um, I know I've actually had some conversations with folks that asked me, I'm actually a pro user myself. And uh, there you go. You guys get your 35% discount. There you go. So um, <clears throat> anyways, we thank you again for, for joining and uh, giving us the update, Nick. Yeah, absolutely. If anyone wants uh, to learn more, let me know. Uh, email, call me, whatever. Excellent. Thank you so much. We'll get started with our listings. So we're going to have our first, uh, we're going to have our first person up. Mr. Matthew Sullivan, are you on the line? I am. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, um, presenting Good morning, uh, three apartment deals on the west side. Uh, these are all uh, foreclosures. There were de uh, deeds in lieu of foreclosure from the NMS portfolio or, or WS committees. Uh, the principals were uh, um, Neil Schechter and, and uh, Scott Williams. So um, this is uh, a, 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 a property that uh, Neil completely renovated in um, in Brentwood. And it's uh, right, right off of uh, San Vicente. It's between San Vicente and Barrington. So it's a really good quality location. The units are all small. He divided them up. Uh, they're originally uh, nine townhomes. They divide up into 40 units and uh, including the added two ADUs. So they're all like micro units, they're very, very small. So the price will reflect, you know, a higher cap rate and a, and a lower CPU for that. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if they'll offer financing, but we're gonna have a call for offers in about a week, uh, another week. So uh, if you want the OM on this, it kind of explains everything a lot better, it shows all, all the amenities, but it's a, it's a really nice building. And you can uh, see from that, like the, from the rooftop there, you can, the, the um, just about uh, 150 feet away is, is San Vicente. So it's very close to where the, the VA is in the corner of uh, Wilshire and San Vicente. So the next slide, please. This is a smaller deal that Neil renovated uh, and he convert, uh, it's all consists of mostly two bedrooms and, and uh, there's a one uh, studio in there. And uh, this is a complete renovation. So the unit, the building you saw uh, before was is completely furnished. This one's completely furnished as well. So it's almost like an Airbnb. Uh, and this one, uh, again, uh, 
been foreclosed upon. This has a six cap rate, which is really good. The other one, the previous one has a five cap rate, but this is a six cap rate in, on Yale Street. And Yale is just like one block south of uh, uh, a Santa Monica Boulevard. So it's uh, north It's north of the 10 freeway, south of, uh, north of uh, Olympic and south, just immediately south of Santa Monica Boulevard. But nothing really to do on this building. But at a six cap rate, it's it's really that's a very good price for for um, Santa Monica. And next slide, please. So this this is uh, this is an unusual deal. This is a rent restricted deal. So the buyer pool on this is going to be very limited. It's going to be mostly housing agencies and nonprofits. They're going to look at this deal because it's uh, restricted based on uh, the. Uh, the tenants uh, AMI. So it's basically 50 and 60% of the AMI. Um, and then, of course the rent's gonna reflect that. So it's really not any quite um, much of a return on it. It's 100% renovated. It's all pretty much all furnished. It has uh, parking uh, as well on the back. And um, it's now this one is one block south of Wilshire Boulevard. So, uh, so there's a covenant on it that runs with the property. Uh, so it's not not an investment for everybody. It's just really going to be somebody who who operates a housing agency uh, that wants to own it so they can control the housing stock. Uh, next slide, please. This that's it. So see me. Uh, just email me uh, after uh, during the meeting, and I'll. Send you the OMs. Uh, they're all they're all on LoopNet, Craig C, uh, CoStar, um, and uh, our own website, our build out website too. So, thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Anybody have any questions for him? Or I think Philip, you had any questions or anything? Or no? Nope. Excellent, Matthew. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time here. Robert, are you on the line? Hi guys, sorry about that. I've had a little craziness with the FTB this morning. And uh, so here we are, let me just uh, refocus. Okay, so anyhow, this is uh, this is a restaurant in uh, the Smoke Tree Village in Palm Springs. Uh, it's in a shopping center. Um, this is an asset sale. Uh, he it, it has a liquor license. Um, a lot of the equipment is brand new, indoor, outdoor uh, seating, about 90 people. Uh, the liquor license can be, uh, the liquor can be served outside, so uh, period. Uh, the price is now being reduced, is motivated, so that is coming uh, down to a 249 number uh, as of tomorrow. So if you know anyone, um, it's a great little Mexican restaurant, fresh, fresh uh, food. Um, just uh, he's he's tired of running the restaurant, <laughs> so he, so there's the opportunity. Any questions? Okay. Thank you, Robert. Sure, thank you. My apologies for being so damn scattered this morning. Um, but uh, this on Menton Boulevard, this is in an area that is uh, up and coming, and lots of assemblage of parcels here. Uh, there's intersection and beyond, and this is four parcels. Uh, perfect for buy and hold investment or owner user because there is currently a restaurant on this property, um, but it's not the highest and best use for, uh, for, these, for these lots. Uh, but someone could come in there and hold it, acquire it, hold it, develop it, and uh, you'd be in the crime downtown Mentone uh, Boulevard area in Mentone. Thank you, any question? Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Appreciate your team. Rubek. I saw him on here. Rubek, you're on mute. I see you talking, but your computer's on mute. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. I hope everybody else is doing great. This is Ruby. Uh, right. Cranbrook Realty Corp. We have this uh, property. It's corner lot. The, the owner bought it to develop a car wash. 
got into some issues with the city and dropped the plans. There's two restaurants on it, 18,500 square feet, busy corner, about 40,000, 35, 40,000 cars. And uh, the two tenants are paying about uh, 90, $8,600 month to month leases. Uh, $8,600 a month rent. Uh, like they like to have a long term lease. This guy is keeping everybody on a month to month, short term. They've been there a long time. Uh, Ratkovich is doing a project about a half a mile away. Eight hundred apartments. Uh, they're in, getting their entitlements. City gave them a hard time, uh, and also city is doing some rezonings in the area. Uh, allowing mixed use, et cetera, to go on the property or in the entire corridor. Price is uh, flexible, 2.5. I think we can cut a deal, uh, maybe 2.6 at most. Uh, fee is 2%, uh, right corner. Any questions? Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, everybody. Melina. Hi, good morning, everyone. Thanks for having me today. Um, I'm Melina Kalachian from Pasadena KW Commercial Office. And uh, we have a few offerings I'd like to present. Um, the first one you have here, it would be 3819 La Crescenta Avenue, City of La Crescenta. Um, this is a very unique uh, property. It actually is 10 separate parcels. They are actually built as condominiums and they're individual parcels, addresses with attached garage. Um, so the builder, uh, the owner is the builder um, who built it himself years ago. And the only thing missing for it to be allowed to be sold individually would be the fact that it is not they he just did not um do the paperwork for the white report so we are actually in the process uh if we cannot if if we don't have a buyer uh in the next few months to sell this as an apartment building because that's what they've been using it as um then we will definitely um we've already we're we have a team set together to put the whole thing together as a individual condos to be sold separately um you know so so you know if you have a buyer let me know reach out i have a full om on it we have i have a whole bunch of information that i could share with you it's definitely a project um at uh, 699 a thousand a unit it's a good price if it's Per condo because condos uh, done nicely in that area uh, will will go anywhere from eight fifty to sometimes even nine fifty a million, depending on how you know how they're done and um, how it's uh, fixed and remodeled. So it's it's a good opportunity for someone who wants a project. Um, let me know if you have an interested client. I'll be happy to give you more information. Uh, next slide. This particular one is uh, office building, uh, 115 North Hollywood Way. It's adjacent to the Warner Brothers Studios. It's a very unique property lo location for this property. It's a boutique type of uh, um, like office building. It, it has two stories and each story, each floor is occupied by a tenant. One of them is uh, has been there, the first floor has been there for about 20 years shy of 20 years um but you know every five years they kind of go in and 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 if they want to stay they typically you know in this case they've stayed um the second floor is a newer tenant um they everything's leased currently um however everything is negotiable so if you have a buyer interested in let's say like an owner user type of situation for this particular property, we'll be happy to also uh, talk to them. And 
it's a possibility. Uh, seller financing is also a possibility on this one. Um, it's uh, the, the way it is right now, the cap rates at 3.85. They have all of their expenses are uh, done through a pass through. And again, if, if you have an interested buyer, if you'd like more information, I have a very uh, detailed OM I could share with you so you could uh, you know, share it with your clients. Um, but it, it's a it's a unique piece of property, uh, an opportunity uh, for someone who's looking for that area um, so close to the studios. Next slide, please. 420 West Elmwood Avenue, Burbank. This is a multifamily. It's an apartment complex, nine unit building. We just uh, dropped the price literally yesterday at uh, 3.578. Uh, comes out to under 400,000 a unit. Um, it, there's one vacancy currently that can be shown to interested buyers. Um, this is the, again, in Burbank, close to the studios. So it, it's a 1988 built, um, well-managed. Uh, it's really nice, high ceilings, uh, built well. You you know, once you see it, you, you'll be impressed. Um, let me know if you have a buyer for this type of property. I will be happy to share the OMs with you. The We dropped the price to 3.578 because that's pretty much pretty close to the bottom line of the price that she's willing to go. Um, the seller is willing to go down on. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, I, we already have, we've had offers. We have, we've had quite a bit actually of activity, but uh, the seller at that time was not um, negotiating. So um, the price was not as negotiable, but um, right now, it, you know, it's been, it's been about a month that's on the market and I suspect it'll go for that price around that price. So if you have a buyer, let me know. We'll be happy to put something together um, on this. Um, but, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's, it's an interesting piece of property with, um, we pay 2%, um, commission is 2% on the buy side on all of these three deals. And uh, let me know, be happy to work with any one of you. That's all for me. Thank you, Melina. Camila. Hello. Yes, hi. Hello. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Am I going? <laughs> You're going. Okay, Take so, it away. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we are introducing eight-unit apartment uh, building in Country Club Park. It's 10 minutes from Mill of the Mile, then Ahenka Park, and then Koreatown. Uh, all comes in one bedroom, one bath, and it's in great condition, even though it was built in 1933. Uh, all newly renovated, two baking units, six actually has been newly renovated. Roof has been redone in 2017, and then uh, electric and a water system has been updated since last year. And there's a plenty of street parking, and the owner is very... Uh, motivated i think he wants to do the uh, this one and another one back to back to combine to 1031 so there's a little bit of flexible uh places to negotiate the price point uh, the price point is 2.099 and uh, price per door is 262 and then 375 let me know if you have any interested buyers and then i can send you oem and we could discuss a little bit further with the price point and then we have the next one. Let me pull it up real fast. Uh, so this is interesting. Uh, it's, it's brand new construction, 2021, fairly new. And why is it not pulling up on my side? Okay, there we go. And uh, that one is co-living. So you share the kitchen and the living room, and then uh, you basically dissect the per room and then rent it out. So there's 40 rooms with the bathroom attached to it. There's parkings, uh, individual, I think total parking is 15. And it's it has beautiful roof deck and then it's common area. Right now it's uh, master lease attached to it. So six years of stabilization. I can give you more detailed information on the financials, 
Um, also, if you want to take a look at the facility, we will need about 20 hours since the tenant in place. But also it could be delivered uh, vacant with a break clause. Um, price point would be, one second. oops, I think it's 10, sorry, what is it? 10.225, right? Yes, we thank you, yes, I, I didn't, I didn't want to, yes. <laughs> Okay, That's so okay. Uh, we, I can we have send it here. you. <laughs> I can send you OM and the financials uh per request, and then let's go to the next one. Okay, so the third one is it's a it's a unique uh, opportunity. It's, it's actually we're marketing a seventy three unit development opportunity in downtown Mar Vista. Uh, it's actually two three properties combined. So one of them, uh, twelve zero two eight one two zero three two could be delivered separately. It's all mixed use building uh, with additional 20% upside for that property. But yeah, uh, it's the, this is a location for the new multifamily development. The project will be 62,000 square foot of the building spread out over uh, 73 units with the 60 units with 13 ADUs. Um, I need to actually take a look at this a little bit further myself. So if you need information, if you have a interested buyer, please let me know. I can send you the OM and then uh, connect it to my broker. <laughs> That's it for me. Thank you very much, Mila. <laughs> Thank you. Miigwa, Elon. Good morning, everyone. Uh, actually, Leslie Harmon. Uh, is going to be presenting this one. Uh, Leslie, are you on the line? I'm here. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome, Leslie. Uh, yes, um, welcome. Hey. Um, so exciting stuff. Uh, we do a lot of work uh, in hospitality, retail, and we have a pretty, I think, exciting project in Hollywood. It's on the corner of Hollywood and Hudson. Um, it's in the right right uh in the middle of the hollywood streetscape project i don't know if you guys know what's going on on hollywood boulevard but they're going to be expanding the sidewalk out there's only going to be one uh lane going east and one lane going west and they're going to create more of a pedestrian thoroughfare that's supposed to begin breaking ground this summer uh and that's going to be underway so the city is very um motivated to activate this part of the city and they're investing a lot of money to bring life back to that area. Uh, that being said, we've also uh, represented uh, several tenants uh, in in activating, I would say just under 50,000 square feet of entertainment space that's currently under construction and set to open in the next year. So this building is situated in the, in, um, in the heart of what's gonna be cool in the next five years. It's fully stabilized. Um, with um retail and and office above um it's got it's opportunity zoned and it's also um got great potential for development in the future uh we're asking 10.9 for the fee simple and that's 16,000 square feet of land um it's zoned lac4 um and i think that puts us at a little under 700 a square foot on building 681 and the city will, how long until they get that plan implemented with all the new greenscape and streets it, changed? It, so, I mean, we sit on, we, we go to a lot of these meetings, we're very active in this community. Um, we're being told that they're breaking ground on all of that this summer. Wow. So it's going to look very different in the next year, two years. You know, they're also... Um, they they have a new business improvement district, the Hollywood Partnership, that's really active in cleaning up that area. And, and it, I mean, it's great. It's actually looking a lot better. And you're going to see um, 
a, a lot of new tenants moving into that that area. Also, not just that, there's a hotel project immediately uh, behind this that's being developed. It's currently underway. Um, and it's also situated around some of the coolest hotel projects developed in Hollywood. The Thompson, the, the Tommy, the Dream, uh, Mother Wolf is some of the uh, is one of the best restaurants in Los Angeles. That is within walking distance from here, so it's a great part of town. Uh, we're looking. Uh, we think we have it priced great. Uh, we have it at a five and a half cap. Um, yeah, it's a great opportunity for anyone that's looking. If you have an exchange buyer or anyone that's looking to activate something in Hollywood or take over more square footage in that market, uh, I know it was really hit very hard through COVID, but we're seeing a huge change go on there now that all the studio and production work is is ramping back up. Um, there's an increased demand for more entertainment and hospitality in that part of the market. So we think it's a great yeah. opportunity. So please bring anyone that you're interested that might be interested in that part of the market and is looking for a right. stabilized asset. Yeah, hopefully Hollywood wraps up all of their strikes here in July and gets back to work. And this would be a perfect timing <laughs> yeah. for this deal. Hopefully. Thank you very much, Leslie and Elon. I think we have Greg next. Good morning, Greg. Morning. Good to see you. Thank you. You um, as well. For those who have seen this project a few months ago, uh, you may notice that the photos look different. The owner has painted the building. Um, this is a seven unit apartment investment opportunity in prime Sherman Oaks location, one block off of Ventura Boulevard. Uh, lots of restaurants and retail surrounding, walking distance to the Sherman Oaks Galleria. Um, <clears throat> it, at a million nine ninety five, it's a 3.73 cap uh, going in with upside and in, in significant upside in the rents. The owner just we remodeled and re-rented two units uh, at much higher rents than she was getting previously for each of those units. Um, so there's five more that could be done. Um, there's definitely flexibility in the million nine ninety five asking price. We encourage all reasonable offers. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. Uh, this is another one that I've presented a couple times here. This is a 12 unit in Bakersfield. Um, we were in escrow with a buyer who during his due diligence uh, uncovered the fact that a few of the units that we had been told that, that were occupied, that we had been told were one bed, one bath were actually studios. So We've revamped our marketing efforts and we're back on the market. A million fifty is the asking price. Out of the 12 units, only seven are occupied. So you have an immediate upside potential to turn five units and, and get market rents. Um, that's why it shows at a one and a half cap going in because we have five vacancies. Um, it's a really simple, straightforward building right outside of the heart of downtown Bakersfield, which is a really bustling Central Valley community. Appreciate your uh, transparent numbers there and not giving us a, <laughs> a pro forma of a the, 15 the pro cap. forma, yeah, the pro forma <laughs> at, at full market rents is about a nine cap. Um, yeah. But, you know, yeah, I'd, I, I want to be straightforward and, you know, we're not selling these as cash flowing investments. These are, you know, this one in particular is definitely a project, but um, it's a nice old building uh, one block away from downtown Bakersfield. Right. All right, this is a freestanding retail building directly across the street from Westfield Topanga. It's about 7,910 square feet in total. That includes an 820 square foot mezzanine. So about 7,090 square feet of ground floor. Um, it's a dark US bank. They are still on the hook on their lease through November of 2025. They're paying about $287,000 a year in rent. 
So if you have an owner user, if you have an investor who's looking to do a project, maybe split this up and rent it to multiple tenants, you can come in and have cash flow on day one, uh, or you could terminate the US bank and get a buyout. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility here. It's an unbelievably large rooftop sign, basically a billboard, but it's a sign that goes with the building for occupants of the building. This has been a bank branch for close to 30 years. Before that, it was originally built as a uh, mini market kind of liquor store, Dale's Jr. So there's a ton of power in the building, high ceilings. You can blow it out and, and make it a wide open retail space, really good showroom opportunity directly across from Westfield Topanga and the, uh, new de the north side of the mall where all the new developments have been going on. That area has seen a lot of change in the past couple of years. Yeah, yeah. And it's in the Warner Center specific plan. It's on the Topanga corridor. It's an enterprise zone as well. So parking requirements are significantly reduced. You can permit, as far as I understand, just about any use in there, medical, fitness, food, even though it is slightly under park, there's only 15 parking spaces for the whole building. Uh, you should be able to get almost any of those uses approved. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this is an office investment opportunity, possible owner user. Um, it's two side-by-side -side buildings, sort of mirror image of each other so around a central driveway. The South building is a second gen dental practice, vacant. Um, the owner originally put his practice there, then sold the practice to one of his protégés who then ran his course and, and shut it down. Um, we are in escrow on the South building on its own. TBD, if that'll go through or not, it's, it's with an owner user, a dentist who's doing their diligence. Um, they're delaying things for, you know, I think playing a little bit of games. So we'll see if that goes through, but the building on the North side is a multi-unit general office building, um, can be combined similar to how the, the owner on the South side of did on the south side of the building where he enclosed the exterior walkway to add more GLA to the building. Um, or you can have five tenants and a little owner user uh, suite. The owner's office does have a bathroom and a shower in it, um, right in the heart of Valley Village, a block off the 101 freeway at Laurel Canyon and Riverside. Awesome, thanks, Greg. Thank you. Appreciate Steve. the opportunity. Thank you. Steve, you are up. I think I saw you on the line here. Yes. Yeah. There you are. Uh, yeah, we have 86 acre development opportunity in uh, Coachella. Of course, Coachella is known for its music festivals, but uh, there's a lot going on down there. A lot of farmland that uh, is in the path of development, a lot of homes being built. built. This particular property, uh, the city would like to see retail along the main corridors, and or it could be hotel, and then the uh, and then behind that, uh, you know, could be home home development. So kind of a mixed use kind of development. Um, I don't have any photos, but anybody who is interested, you know, I'm happy to share any information uh, that we have. It's four parcels, and uh, you know, currently it's it's farmland. Um, not a cattle, not a cattle ranch right now, but farmland. And uh, so, yeah, any, any more information, I'm happy to, to, to get to you, to you all. That's, this is one uh, of your properties, Steve? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Very interesting. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. All right. Thank you everyone for coming out to our digital broker forum here and discussing properties. Saw some interesting parcels here. I'll be sending out some emails later to some of your deals, see if we can't put something together. And thank you, Nick from Crexy for coming out and giving us a demo for the Crexy Pro um, software. Looks pretty interesting. 
Our next broker forum is July 17th, 9 a.m. We will have a little discussion about whether we are uh, Zoom digital or we're looking at Santa Clarita as an alternative location, but we will send that information out as we secure that to everyone else. If you have other listings that you want to share, please email them to, I guess we can send them over to DJ and um, we can get that prepped for the next broker forum. Additionally, since I am the sponsorship chair, we are halfway through the year. If you would like to sponsor the chapter or know other companies who would be interested in sponsoring the chap chapter, we've got discounted rates now and would love to have that conversation. Uh, Francisco, do you have anything else to add on our exit here? Yes, yes. Just real quick, for those of you who are on the line, please let us know if, because right now we want to take a poll and, and it actually be best if you guys can send an email to DJ. We want to know whether or not, what where you would like to have our broker form in person. That's what we really want to know. We want to be able to have it either in the morning where we're able to have have some coffee together, meet each other, talk to each other before the day, talk about deals, and then continue on, and or have a uh, happy hour sponsored by the chapter where we're able to help you guys uh, enjoy your evening, but also talk about transactions. And again, look for a location. We have some uh, so, uh, some potential locations actually in Marina Del Rey that we have uh, some sponsors that are willing to put something together. But again, we would love to hear from everybody. Please email us. Let us know your feedback. Everybody, thank you. Again, you guys can see here the education information here. Um, I don't know, Ryan, if you want me to go through that too, the upcoming education and events, um, the evolution that's coming up from the uh, from CCIM uh, to CCIM designee. A candidate to designee, for those of you who are interested in getting your 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 designate, your, 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 your PIN, uh, great webinar that's going to be put, uh, offered on June 26th. We have CI 102 market analysis. There are new tools out there for being able to uh, leverage CCIM and understanding uh, market analysis. So again, that's a great uh, course for those of you who haven't received your core courses yet. This is a great opportunity as it is offered locally here. Uh, so again, another one, another lunch and learn is also being offered by the Southland Regional Association of Realtors. Uh, again, we are offering these events for your, uh, you know, for your benefit. So let us know uh, if you guys attend and maybe we guys can have you uh, let us know your feedback on uh, your experience. So again, thank you again, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your week and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you to our sponsors. And if you're not a member as well, please join our membership. We welcome you at CCIM Greater Los Angeles. Again, have a great week, everybody. Take care. Thank, thank you. you very much, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.